My name is Tahir Khan Kamali. This exhibition is called Jua Kali. When he came up with this concept uh, of a series of photographs that he'd like to kind of do in an exhibition, I challenged him to come up with a full conceptual exhibition which involved um, installation work um, of what he was actually ref reflecting in his images. I've been in Kona for a year now and just being surrounded by a lot of uh, artists that use found objects and I wanted to see how I would be able to use my medium of mixed media and photography uh, to reply to um, the materials that they use and so a lot of the things that you see here are actually part of uh, Dennis's um, found object scrap pile. He selected uh, two other artists to work with. Dennis, who's primarily really strong in found objects uh, art, um, and then Tony, who's a glass master or glass artist, um, and it just came together. The way I produce my sculptures is very juakali, so just the process for me is already juakali and then we sort of made that Juakali city. The small scale industry, what is commonly referred to as Juakali, it is mostly about the small scale industries that basically run much of the bigger economy. I just wanted to do an exhibition that was more based on the surreal and a bit of fantasy and uh, I really just wanted the viewer to walk into the exhibition and to be taken away from their own realities and look at something that is, yes, a little bit socially relevant, but also look at the images and look at the installation and sort of be removed or slightly removed from uh, their own reality. And uh, I just wanted them to look at the images and feel like they're transported uh, into a different world, um, this world of Juakali, this, uh, this surreal place where everything is made out of uh, scrap and recycled material. I thought the exhibition was dope. I wish that it had been in a bigger space so that you could spend more time walking around everything, but the concept was really fly. This exhibition, the only thing I have to say is that he has also created a portrait of me, one of those portraits, but then he decided uh, not to put it there, not to hang it on the wall, so it's making me a bit upset about this whole thing. But otherwise, I really love it. It's, it, it's great. Yeah. I would like to say that this has come from, uh, from me and from my inspiration with uh, Kenya, and so I'd really like to thank um, Nairobi especially for the inspiration that has helped me lead to this conclusion of the exhibition.